Hello everyone. We finished the reading of the chapter and its explanation in the last two parts and I hope you very well understood the theme of this chapter. In case you have missed it, I have given the links in the description box right at the bottom of this video. Well, today we are going to move on to the question answers and comprehension check of this chapter so that you will understand the chapter in a better manner. So let's start with the question answers and move ahead. Let's start with comprehension check question number one. Look at picture one and recall the opening lines of the original song in Hindi. Let's go to that picture first. This is the picture where you can see a singer singing the song. And if you remember while I was explaining you this part, I had played that song in the background. Yes, the song was E Mere Vatan Ke Logo. The singer is Lata Mangeshkar Ji. The question says, who else can you see in this picture? Well, if you look at this picture, we can see Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri and Indira Gandhi in the same frame as Lata Mangeshkar Ji. While in the next picture, you can see that Jawaharlal Nehru has been reminded of Rani Lakshmi Bai, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Bhagat Singh, Mahatma Gandhi, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Shah Zafar and Lala Lajpat Rai. Question number two says, in picture two, what do you understand by the company's superior weapons? Let's go to picture two. This is picture two. Company's superior weapons means all the intelligence, strength, rules and regulations of East India Company. Question number three. Who is an artisan? Why do you think the artisans suffered? Let's go to picture three. This is picture three. An artisan is a skilled manual worker. But he suffered because of two reasons. First, British took high taxes from them. And secondly, the machine goods which were imported from England had overpowered the handmade goods, which led to the ruining of the business of handmade products. Number four, which picture according to you reveals the first sparks of the fire of revolt? Let me take you to that picture. Picture number seven, the sparks reveals the first sparks of the fire of revolt. Here we finish comprehension check and now we'll start with working with the text in which you have to answer the following questions. The keywords of each answer will be flashed to you in Please pay attention and listen to me carefully. Let's start with the first question. Do you think the Indian princes were short-sighted in their approach to the events of 1757? The answer could be, yes, we feel that the Indian princes were short-sighted in their approach because they were only looking at their immediate benefit by taking the British help. But couldn't understand their main motive. Question number two. How did the East India Company subdue the Indian princes? The answer to this could be, Indian princes were constantly at war and the British helped them in their rivalries. There was no peace and this helped the company subdue the Indian princes one by one. Question number three. Quote the words used by Ram Mohan Roy to say that every religion teaches the same principles. Let me take you to that portion of the chapter where Ram Mohan Roy has said these words. This is the part of Ram Mohan Roy wherein he is speaking to his wife Uma and he says, Cows are of different colors but the color of their milk is the same. Different teachers have different opinions but... The essence of every religion is the same. 
Coming to the fourth question, in what ways did the British officers exploit Indians? Now, Indians were exploited in many ways. The first is that they imposed heavy taxes on farmers. Second point, reduced import duty on goods of England. Third, ruined the jobs of artisans. And fourth could be used Indians as slaves. Let's go to question number five. Name these people. First one, the ruler who fought pitched battles against the British and died fighting. The answer is Kuwar Singh. The person who wanted to reform the society, Ram Mohan Roy. The person who recommended the introduction of English education in India, Lord Macaulay. And the last one of this question, two popular leaders who led the revolt. Your choices may vary, but I am naming two people. These are Malvi Ahmadullah of Faisabad and Peshwa Nana Sahib. Let's advance to the sixth question. Mention the following. The first part, two examples of social practices prevailing then. Well, two examples can be untouchability and child marriage. The second question, two oppressive policies of the British. The first one could be that the import duty on goods from England was lifted off. And second could be that a third regulation was passed in 1818, whereby they said that any Indian could be jailed without trial. Third part of question number six says, two ways in which common people suffered. Where the, the first point in this answer could be, they lost their jobs and lands. And second point could be, they were being converted by the British. Let's come to the last part of this question. Four reasons for the discontent that led to the 1857 War of Independence. Let's start with our points. The first point can be Indians were enslaved. They were treated like slaves. Second point, Indian cottage industries were destroyed. Third point, Indian sepoys in East India Company's army were humiliated. And fourth point could be that Indian customs were completely abolished. Well, that's all in this video today. And in my next video, I will take working with language part of this chapter. Till then, take good care of yourself and bye-bye. Thank you.